Hi guys. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm taking Max for a walk. It is 2.14pm and I think it's something that happened last weekend I believe three guys were sat on that bench and one of them got up and belched um so similar we've got the lady with the chihuahua behind me so when they belched at me this lady here with the chihuahua like mine was on the field <laughs> I've walked past a man with my white blackened t-shirt on my Dunlop so there, <laughs> there's a man sat down where I do TikTok videos with a black and white t-shirt on like my Dunlop one I do TikTok videos on except he's got black hair and a beard um, a transit van uh, came really close to me a white transit van with transit on and there's a bloke dressed in my white, t white black and white t-shirt that I do uh, TikTok videos on. So a good start to this afternoon. <laughs> Not getting cross if they, if a man wants to wear my clothes. That's 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 cool. But I am a woman. It's flattering when someone else is wearing the clothes that you're wearing. It's actually flattering. So that, that's not annoyed me or upset me. <laughs> if they want to dress blokes in my clothing <laughs> and call me a trans, that's up to them. So it makes you feel good though, doesn't it? It's meant to make you feel good. It makes them feel good bullying. That's what it's meant to do. So transit van transit I wouldn't mind but the people bullying the people bullying me they ain't all that they ain't all that they ain't all that that are bullying and all that. <sighs> so what you do, guys, when someone is stalking you, I've been uh, listening to crime stories. One about David Carrick, the policeman that raped women. And also another case about a 19-year-old woman being murdered by an ex ex-partner. <laughs> is I'm doing exactly what you should be doing and that's that's I'm noting everything down my mum hasn't called but they ring they text they go down your Facebook and social media because they need to know where you are all the time and they put you down they put you down they discredit you they report you to places uh, if you've got a job, they harass you at work. <laughs> so we're doing the right thing. The police ignored this woman five times and her ex-partner murdered her. He slashed her throat. The two police officers concerned that uh, ignored uh, her police for help got reprimanded. But one of the police officers had her fined for wasting police's time. And uh, she wasn't wasting police time at all. <sighs> so over there, there's a guy in my white and black t-shirt with Dunlop on it, sat with a big blonde woman, <clears throat> where I do my TikTok video. And then a transit van comes out of nowhere because I've had to walk in the road because there was two... The reason why I walked in the road was because there was two dogs on really long leads and um, I couldn't walk on the pavement. There was a 
couple walking down the path with dogs on extra long leads. So I went into the road and this transit van came out of nowhere. White transit van. I have got 61,000 likes and there's nothing bad about me. And I go through all these videos that I've got a positive, like this and that and this and that and go outside and ignore it, but it gets increasingly difficult because not only this, it must be a lot of people involved in it, loads of them. I don't know any of them. They're obviously going down my TikTok and putting my bloody clothes on. And I certainly ain't a bloke. I don't even look like a fella. <laughs> so who's doing it? That is the question. So... It's an old lady with a chihuahua like mine, almost exactly the same. And I thought, I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out. I'm not gonna... Oh, look, there's that uh, freight train. There's a freight train going across there. Freight train. It's past the castle there. It's mass stalking. It's mass, mass stalking. It's loads of them. I don't even know who they are. I don't know who they are, they might know who I am, but I don't know who they are doing it. They're not nice, they, they, they don't stop and speak. Some of them are really quite nasty. Some of them. train going past and another train coming the other way. There. I've gone through YouTube videos, TikTok videos about why people hate you, why people are envious, why they do what they do, but it don't help. <laughs> no, it doesn't help. It's not wrong so far. I've had a couple of messages on Flirt Finder. And they seem to have uh, stopped everything else. They were leaving nasty um, comments on my Instagram. They got fed up doing that because I just delete them. The castle in the background. I mean, it's ridiculous. Some of the things is like it's it's. I don't know who it is, but to be involved in shops, shops that you go in, the doctors that you see, it's bad. 
Who is it? Taking the mickey out of what I look like and speak like. Who the fuck is doing it? Silly. It's terrible. It's 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 meant to cut you into pieces, your self-esteem. And who you are, but I don't give a fuck anymore. Because I know I don't look like what they're fucking making out or sound like it either. They might sound and look like it, but I fucking don't. You know, I've got to go to that horrible dentist this week coming. That's a bundle of fun, that is. Get ready for that. There are cases where people steal your videos and your fucking whole persona and they do it to celebrities as well. They steal all your videos, they steal your profile pictures and they actually pretend to be you. So there could be a con artist out there but it ain't me. You only need to watch uh, Catfish to find out what their shenanigans they get up to. It's, it's making money schemes, scams. They do. They they, they make themselves look stupid because they they deliberately come out some of them and make ridiculous noises as I'm walking past. <coughs> and then they trip or something, and they look an idiot. Some were just tripped over just now. They were just making like noises and being silly, and they fell over. It's really, it is being stalked on social media. They, they, they go down. If you like, so I'm interested in Princess Diana, right? So if I make a comment on one of Princess Diana's pictures, or I like uh, something on Facebook, the stalkers going down that, and they're ridiculing what I, what I like, laughing at it. It's, it's just weird to me why someone would be that evil. Um, I'm sorry, but if you go through some of the videos where I've shown you my mum's behaviour towards myself, and I can't believe my mum's the stalker, and if it is, how, well, how do you deal with that when your own mother's the stalker? Um, she's very, got some immense hatred there. It comes across as, oh, Genestra, you're always grabbing the attention. You're always in the limelight. And actually people, they don't take any notice of me. And I'm happy with that because... You know, Princess Diana, one of the things she didn't like was the fucking cameras in her face. She didn't like the paparazzi in her face. She wanted to live peacefully without the cameras in her fucking face, right? So one thing I don't like is being the centre of attention. I don't like it. I just want to walk around the field just like this, as it is at the moment, quiet. I don't like attention. So, I, can't, I hope it isn't my mother that's the stalker. I mean, I can't, 
understand where all this mickey taking is coming from and why it's fucking I don't think anybody could handle it it's also creepy the idea that someone's going down your videos and dressing up in your clothing that is weird They don't like me, they don't like the way I dress, then why are they wearing clothes like mine for? And one of the things my mum said to me was, I know you, Ginestra, I know you, like that. I used to get cross and it used to upset me, but it makes me laugh. I laugh at it. They look nothing like me. I'm not a fucking fella. And it, you know, it's just pathetic. I don't need people in my life. I don't. It'd be nice to have a person that isn't like the rest of other people that have treated me like dog shit. But I, I don't need anybody. I'm not crying my eyes out because I'm on my own. I, as you can see, sometimes when you're with a partner, it can be lethal. So I've been watching um, crime cases on YouTube about how to still deal with stalkers and stalking. I'm afraid all the advice that was uh, given at the end of the piece of the video, I can't move out of my address. I can't. I really haven't got much family to turn to. So I'm facing this stalker by myself, or stalkers, on my own. So there you go. Anyway guys, that's it for now. I've managed to come outside um, and take Max out and get some fresh air and I'll see you later.